Hello everybody, um, I'm just doing our daily check-in. I know today's check-in is a little bit later than normal, but uh, this is kind of the first chance I've had today to kind of sit down and gather my thoughts and think about what I wanted to say today. Today has been pretty fun, I must admit. Um, I was able to get a bunch of schoolwork done as my wife and my kids were still doing their virtual learning today. Uh, but I did get a chance to go for a walk with my sister and my niece and my nephew. We did our social distancing walk where they were on one side of the road and we were on the other. And this time, my wife decided that they were gonna, we were gonna bring our dog, Buster. And uh, we don't normally get a chance to take him for a walk, so we weren't really sure how this was gonna work. But uh, he managed to make it. For those who care, he managed to make it. But he, he seemed like he was gonna die by the time he got back. He was so out of breath. And I feel like he wasn't the only one. I never realized how out of shape I was until this whole social distancing thing <laughs> happened. So, um, but it's interesting because today, out of all the things I decided to wear, I decided to wear this sweatshirt. And this is the sweatshirt that I wore on Halloween because for Halloween this year, we decided we wanted to be lifeguards because we thought it would be fun and be easy to do. And um, who doesn't like red, right? So, it's kind of interesting because there are people um, who are out now who, in my opinion, they're like lifeguards. They're really helping everyone else. And the whole purpose of today's check-in is really just to talk about the positive. And so thinking about that, today's quote, we're gonna do a little bit early. And the quote says, the best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. So let's think about all these people who are getting up and doing things. You know, people like the mail people, the delivery, uh, delivering mail and packages. Um, I just want to say thank you to all of you. If you have family members that are postal workers or delivery people, or they're considered an essential worker, they're working at a grocery store or a pharmacy or a gas station or pretty much anywhere that they're putting themselves out there uh, for the benefit of others, I just want to say thank you. I know there are definitely some nurses in the, on the team um, and you know doctors, etc. And I just want to say thank you to all of you because I really feel it's important that you know how much we appreciate all that you're doing. Now, my mother-in-law, um, you can see her here on the dark hair. I showed you this picture the other day of my mom and I said the other woman is my mother-in-law. So she is a nurse practitioner. Um, she works in a hospital as well as the professor at Rutgers. And my nephew, who is a fireman down in, um, down in Maryland, um, and my brother-in-law, who works at the academy um, and also works at a, in a fire department, you know, they're still out doing their job day in and day out. And it's people like them that I'm also very appreciative for. Um, so today's whole video is pretty much based on gratitude. It's just my chance to say thank you to everybody who has been doing uh, such an amazing job. And you know, some of these people are people who sometimes get ignored uh, when things are considered normal. And now we realize how important and amazing that these people are. So I wanted to give also a very special shout out to somebody who is on our team. Her name is uh, Mrs. DeZenzo. She is such a kind and caring person. And I know since she has been home, she has made hundreds of masks uh, with her sewing skills. So she definitely does not have that feeling of feeling hopeless. She's definitely doing something. And I know she's not alone. Uh, people have donated supplies to her so she can make them. I know there are other teachers in this district who have been going out of their way to make masks uh, for people in need. And it's just so amazing to see people just coming together to help others. There's very little, woe is me. It's more like, well, what can I do to help? You know, people are getting food for other people. People are providing toilet paper for other people. I wasn't sure I'd ever actually say that in a sentence, that you really need to get toilet paper for people, but it's a thing. Um, I, I just, I can't say thank you enough. And. You know, if your family member is the one who is going out there every day and doing things for um, for your town and for society and for the country, um, I just want to say thank you. I know that I've seen things on you know the internet and Facebook, etc., that talk about teachers and how um, you know people are going to appreciate teachers now because they realize how hard it is actually to teach. And for that, I, as a teacher, I'm grateful. But on the flip side. 
you know, sometimes if you're working at a ShopRite or an Acme, um, you know, sometimes you get overlooked. And I think in this situation, those people are very brave to go out and do what they're doing. And I just want to give a shout out to all of them. So think about this week as a week of gratitude. Try to think of at least one thing each day that you can be grateful for and happy for. And then, um, you know, tell those people thank you. If you know you have relatives that are either serving in the military, serving as police and fire or medics, doctors, or they're working in a grocery store, gas station, a Home Depot, you name it, give them a buzz and just tell them thank you. Um, you know, I've seen stories where people unfortunately cannot um, see certain family members, obviously, because they don't want to put them at risk. Um, so a phone call can go a long way. So here I'm saying to every parent on our team, if you're out there working, whatever your job is, I just want to say a personal thank you. I appreciate everything that you are doing. Um, I hope you have a wonderful night because you deserve it without a doubt. And thank you so much for helping us in this effort to teach your kids. Um, we could not do this without you. So thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful night. Peace out.